Jacob had been called along with his brother Joseph, Nephi's two younger brothers, to be preachers and to be priests among this people. And, and the book starts uh, in, in Jacob chapter 1. He tells us right out of the gates that 50 and 5 years had passed away from the time that Lehi had left Jerusalem. And so they've been in the promised land for a little while now. Uh, the, the, that kind of first generation that sailed across the ocean, they're all dying off, you know, Nephi and, and others. And so this is kind of the next generation taking over. And, and Jacob has this sense of calling. He's, he's the mm -hmm. spiritual leader of these people. And so what am I going to teach them to help them to continue to follow the Lord now that Lehi and Nephi and, and the others are gone? And Jacob, he specifically says, I'm not going to give you a lot of history. I'm not going to tell you a lot of stories. I'm going to focus on sacred things, on preaching, on revelation, on, on the prophecies that we have. So that's mostly what we get in the book of Jacob. Not a lot of narrative, but a lot of really powerful gospel teaching. <laughs>